Eric Magidson here. Today we're going to talk about the future value function in Excel. This is the function that is highly valuable in your daily life in understanding as you make investments in investment vehicles, what kind of expected returns should you get? Now, of course, this is a very simple formula in that we have some static inputs. We're going to make a monthly investment each month of $100. Our annual percentage rate is not going to change, unlike the market today. We're going to say we are expecting to average 8% over 20 years worth of investments. So we need the future value function. How do we get that? We can come up to formulas, go to the financial, and come down and choose future value. That's one way. A more simple way is simply to be on the home page. Come to the more button next to auto sum, more functions. We can even type in future value or FV and it brings up the future value function. Now again, let me remind you that I highly suggest you use this function arguments box until you understand each variable and how to enter it into the function up here. Okay, So our rate, as we've discussed before, is our interest rate or annual percentage rate. But because we're going to make payments on a monthly basis, we need to divide this by 12 to get a monthly interest rate. Number of periods. Again, I like to do this in years. Multiply by 12, which converts this to months. So basically, over 20 years, I'm going to make 240 monthly payments. Our payment is going to be the $100. And because it's an expense, we're going to get back a negative value. I want a positive value. It's easier to work with. So I just put in a negative in front of the payment and a negative times a negative becomes a positive. So by putting a negative, I'm basically saying this is a monthly expenditure that's going to return this. That's the way I think about it. I say OK. And you can see that I am going to earn $58,902.04 by investing $100 a month at 8% interest for 20 years. Now the question is, of course, I've invested money. I want to figure out how much I really earned because there's an opportunity cost in the fact that I could have used that $100 someplace else in another investment, bought something I wanted. So why should I have invested it? So let's figure out the total amount paid in. And we do this by saying equals. Basically what we paid in was $100 a month times 20 years times 12, right? Or 240 months if we wanted to short it. Now, the reason I don't shorten this is because, again, I want this to be dynamic. I want to have this number change if I change my years or if I change my amount. So I got to do it this way. I'll say enter, and I can see that to make 58,000, I actually spent over 20 years $24,000. Okay. Now we don't need to get in the time value of money. All this we're going to keep it simple. Okay, twenty-four thousand is what I spent. I made fifty-eight, so I basically do this. I take the future value times the total amount I, I mean, minus the total amount I paid in, and I can see that this investment made me thirty-four thousand dollars. So I doubled my money, over doubled my money at eight percent in 20 years. Now I want to show you the, the value of compounding. Okay, Let's say that instead of starting this $100 investment you know, when I was 40 trying to retire at 60, what if I had started it at 30, which means I invested for 30 years. Because I did all those formulas dynamically, once I change this number, you'll see the values change. Notice in 10 years, let me do an undo here. So all I did was change this for 10 years. My future value went from 58,000 to 149,000. Now I'm investing 36, but notice my return. Okay? Now let me do that one more time. I'll do 40,000. So in this case, or 40 years. So in this case, I started investing when I was 20, looking to retire at 60. Just 100 bucks a month for 40 years. $48,000 is what I put in, but I made $301,000. So that's the future value formula. I want you to work through the rest of these. Make up your own. Maybe you have an investment that you're currently doing. See how much you might expect to make. 
Remember, keep that interest rate low. You might be doing great interest this year, but on average, what are you going to do over the rest of the years? This is a great life function, and I hope it helps you both with Excel and in life. Thanks.